Good morning and welcome to the new trading week. Chinese stocks are going lower this morning. There are concerns about the future prospects of sales of uh, properties, of uh, private um, uh, housing in China. The market might go down next year because there will be more regulation coming. There is concerns from Beijing, from the government, that there is too much speculation going on regarding the housing market. And so they want to stop that. And that might be negative for the sales outlook of the Chinese property market. So right now we've got um, the same system, uh, same procedure as in the past months, whereas international and global investors are going around the um, Crater China stocks. So those in Shenzhen, for example, um, they are um, uh, going down stronger than those uh, more open stocks and the more open stock market in Hong Kong. The Hang Seng is down 0.9%. And the Shenzhen is down more than 2% right now. So we've got a difference here, a delta, which has been going on for some months now. The next big topic this morning is the jump in the price of Brent crude oil and WTI, the US crude. Um, Russia will go down with their production by 300,000 barrels a day, Mexico by 100,000, Azerbaijan by 35,000, Oman by 40,000 barrels a day. So there will be the OPEC cut coming and there will be the non-OPEC cut coming. Together they will bring supply and demand in line with uh, each other more or less um, or even so there will be a uh, or will be less production than there will be demand um, especially when you take into account the growth in demand coming next year. And after this news was coming out, out of the Saturday um, conference of the non-OPEC meeting, uh, there was a non-OPEC meeting on Saturday together with OPEC. And as a result, um, the non-OPEC uh, producers said they would cut their production alongside the OPEC. And then after this was um, coming out, the Saudis, Saudi Arabia said, they will cut even more than they said last week on the official OPEC meeting in Vienna. So that is a positive news. Brent crude and WTI, so Bloomberg, so Reuters reports are going to $60, or at least uh, seems to go into that direction. From a technical standpoint, um, we have triggered on a weekly closing basis, the second uh, week in a row, the inverted head and shoulders bottoming pattern so if you look at the um, chart of Brent crude oil, then we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern, which is a pattern or a formation which is normally forming at the end of a downtrend. And we've triggered that neckline, which sat around 50, 52 US dollars. We are above that with around 56 for Brent crude oil this morning. And the target out of that is between 67 and 77 US dollars per barrel for Brent crude oil. So yeah, that's the news this morning. Of course, the Saudis want to place Aramco. They want to go out with a IPO for their state crown jewel. So Saudi Aramco is the state, it's the Saudi Arabian uh, oil company. And they want to have a good price for that. And so they want to have a good oil price. But Saudi Aramco will only come out in the year 2008. The IPO is scheduled to come in 2018 so uh, some there's still some room and if you've got um, if you just think the scenario through for the price of oil if you go to $77 right now then this would um, just spark an increase in the production of fracking in the United States and that could kill that OPEC rally but now for now markets will focus on the compliance within the OPEC and within the non-OPEC? Will Russia really decrease its production? Will the Saudis really um, do what they said? Will all the states that now committed to this production cut really do the production cut? Or will they try to profit from higher prices by selling even more crude? So that's the problem and that's the question that needs to be answered in the coming weeks and months.